All right, it is absolutely silly how much of a difference just one little strand of this tape can make from you being able to compete versus sitting on the couch. So let's get into it. And in this particular instance, I'm talking about what's called a J-strap tape. Now this sounds very simple, especially to people that do this for a living or tape their ankles a lot. However, the versatility of this taping, what it can do and how powerful it can be is just simply unmatched by a lot of other taping techniques. And like I said, the versatility of the J-strap is its most important asset. It can be used from anything from arch pain, tendonitis, ending in your Achilles all the way over to the lateral side of your ankle, to perineal tendonitis, or to even to someone who's a ankle sprainer or rehabbing from an ankle sprain. Now the technique of a J-strap is simple enough. Whatever structure you're trying to protect, so let's say it's your posterior tibial tendon or the main tendon that covers your arch, you're going to want to start on the opposite side of the foot. And the reason for that is, is you increase the lever arm of the tape, which makes it even more powerful. And what a lot of people don't realize is, is most of the tendons in your leg or the muscles in your leg, which then become tendons in your foot, cross all the way across the foot. They almost create a cradle under your foot. And that's one of the big things that holds your arch up, not just your fascia or other ligaments. And what happens is, if you just tape one little spot of that tendon, then you're not actually capturing the entire mechanism of action of that muscle. And that's why with the J-strap, you can get so versatile with it because you can place it in so many different positions on your foot and ankle to really cover exactly what structure that you need supported. And so a good rule of thumb for me is whichever structure you're trying to support, whether it be your ankle ligaments or maybe, like I said, a tendon, you always want to have your first strap right dead center on that structure and then at least two others, one anterior to it or forward from it or one posterior or back from it. And that's what gives you a little bit more of a fan out. That's what gives you a little bit more support. Now remember tape has its maximum efficiency for 45 minutes after that it does start to wane. Now you always wanna make sure that tape is directly on the skin unless you have an allergy. And number two, you wanna have some anchor straps afterwards. So anytime I do a J strap, I'm always putting just kind of a circular strap around my foot and then one around my leg that really increases the effectiveness of it as well as the longevity. And so speaking of all the applications for the J-strap, if there is a specific issue or condition you'd like to see a tutorial for taping on, that's a real mouthful, uh, make sure you do leave me a comment down below. And speaking of taping, if you're looking to get the maximum efficiency out of the lockdown of your own shoe to increase the stability when you're on court or running or whatever you're doing for exercise, I do have a completely free digital download for that in the description below. It does have a lot of different techniques, a lot of little shoe hacks you can do to make the Shoe, kind of a little bit more responsive for you. So that's down in the description. All right, respect jarber and foam. I'll see you in the next one.